How's it going folks? Just clipping the bike on. Uh, just sort of bring you along for a look at what I'm up to today. Um, just giving the cabbages and the bok choy, the remaining bok choy, a treatment of the dipole from the little bags I've broken up and also adding in some pure crock one. Um, so I just thought I'd have a bit of a chat to you today, making sure the microphone works of course this time around. I finally found it. Um, Bianca and I have just been rearranging the house um, since uh, she's been working from home due to um, everyone knows what. Um, she's been stuck in the little storage room. So we're finally emptying that out and moving the house around. So the lounge room has now been turned into my office, um, library, sewing room and crafts room. And that small bedroom where Bianca, which was a storage room, is now Bianca's office for when she's working at home. So oh, I'll show you how I fill this up. Uh, normally I just go through that because I'm going to be lazy today. I'm going to pull the stand pipe out of this bed here and let all that water flow out and fill it up. Excuse my ball patch. There we go. Probably a little bit too full. So that's all good and to that I'm just going to add the pure crop one because it's um, basically very soapy um, so yeah back to what's going on yeah so that's that's been going on and I lost things like um, my good microphone and um, we've also had something else pop up uh, Bianca's got a few long-standing health complaints and they're flared up as well uh, not life-threatening, just debilitating. I need, hang on, before I stuff this up, I need 40 mils because it's 2 litres. 4 mil, and that is, just move this around, this is 20 mil. Um, so Bianca has been pretty much all out of action since last Thursday. And she's also had a few other health concerns show up in some tests that's been done. Um, so I've been running around uh, making sure that she is comfortable and happy and taking over all the little bits and pieces she does on the side and yeah as a result oh, I'm just a little bit buggered and haven't done much around the place and we've been talking and I've pretty much all decided I'm going to stop being rude and I'm going to flip this camera around just excuse me as I wind you folks up Sorry about the shakiness. Um, I've pretty much all decided I'm going to have a couple of weeks off of YouTube. I'll just try and focus on my head so it doesn't go in and out. A uh, couple of weeks off YouTube, um, three at this point, um, um, maybe four. I would like just to have a couple of weeks off um, just to finally sort out the house, do some stuff around the yard, um, look after Bianca and we have a feeling there's a couple more tests and specialists we're going to be running around and seeing so don't don't be concerned for Bianca everyone's got issues with their health through their life um, some of them are genetic um, some of them um, are acquired and whatnot um, so she's just dealing the, the hand that was delta and yeah she'll get through it uh, like we all get through what we have to you know get through I'm not much of a wordsmith am I um, so yeah, I thought I'd give you folks a uh, heads up. I will be still posting to Podia, um, and if you haven't noticed, uh, and you YouTube members, thank you very much folks. Um, if you haven't noticed, I have cut down a lot on those posts, mainly because I feel like I'm giving you guys the same old stuff over and over again, and I feel like my hands are tied until we get down the back done. I'm very hands-on. I like to show what I'm doing and then explain it. And that's why I do use a lot of B-roll in my video videos on YouTube. I'm not someone who can just sit down like other gardening channels. I know they can do it and they get away with it and people love it, but I can't just sit down, look at a camera and just, you know, pass out a whole load of information. I just don't work that way. I don't learn that way, so I don't like to teach that way. So what I think is best is I'm going to continue doing a couple of videos a week for you guys, mainly because, um, you know, we're very grateful for the support we're getting from you folks. Uh, not only that, um, I feel a little bit more relaxed when I shoot for you guys and I can tack them together and maybe pull out, put out a video every week. I'm not going to promise anything from 
bits that I show you guys and then um, yeah, later on down the track um, once some other bits and pieces are done yeah I'll um, start uploading dedicated um, uh, purposely filmed aquaponics videos are a little bit more educational as well as the normal roundup um, on what's going on around the place but on the upside we did stop and look at a puppy today a little uh, red border collie so we're um, yeah we're having a cooling off period thinking whether we'll go back and have a look at that little fella again so that's what's going on there um, the driveway uh, being given the 9th of November um, we do have a concreter coming in he's going to concrete the tracks down concrete a little bit of a retaining wall for the rocks we want to use beside and between the tracks and he's also going to build us a gate that fits in with the fence and i told him the hassles we had oh you guys haven't heard all of it but all the palaver that went on with the um, landscapers and all the stuff ups they didn't we've got to live with um, so we explained all that to him and um, he's more than um, happy to accommodate all our requirements that we want done um, so it gets done our way this time around seeing as we're paying the money and I feel like I've been prattling on far too long so I'll go to my stock standard let's feed the fish I'll give you a bit of a look at them uh, but yeah that's what's going on around the place and I will give you a bit of an update on what's going on with the deck so these guys should feed fairly well right at this point in time because the water temp has come right up um, it hit 26 degrees earlier today and they don't want to feed oh they're feeding around the edge of the tank so you can't see them you might be able to see some of the water swirl they also got a good feed of caterpillars earlier um, i tossed in a fair few caterpillars from the bok choy and the cabbage so they are doing fairly good i might just flip this camera around see if we can get a closer look there we go oh there we go Bit of a closer look for you folks now they're not going to want to come up they'll, they'll probably polish this off in the next 10 15 minutes i probably shouldn't have fed them earlier and they would have been right but yeah i'm, I'm trying not to feed them too much um, you may remember from earlier um, in the year i didn't feed them for a while and then threw a whole heap of feed in and it just spiked all the um, nutrient levels the ammonia uh, mainly because the um, biofilter couldn't keep up with it including the beds as well not just that biofilter but i don't think we'll have an issue this time around as long as i don't overdo it just quickly folks if you are starved for content and you're after some aquaponics videos there are loads and i mean loads on the channel already there'll be an annotation that pops up here and i'll also leave a uh, number of uh, playlists down in the description below if you want to suss them out so there will be more than four weeks worth of viewing of aquaponics videos how to's and whatnot if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you've only just found me folks so never fear there's loads of stuff to watch there so folks so i'll give you a bit of a rundown on what's going on on the deck garden at the moment because a bit has been done since i started this video a couple of days ago the black turmeric has sprouted uh, we have a number of rhizomes that have set up new shoots uh, this is just from the pouch that i overwintered here on the deck it makes an awesome little display here in the corner so we're just going to let it um, grow through again this season give it a bit of a top dress with some um, um, chicken pellets um, organic chicken pellets made from chicken manure and maybe some rock dust minerals as well I um, pillaged some of the mint from this uh, pouch here, which I'll show you in a tick. And there's um, Kira's little native violets down the bottom there. The bok choy. This bok choy was one of the uh, first experiments I had with the pure crop one. And I tell you what, all the aphids gone in a snap. Um, not that that was a snap. Uh, but yeah, pretty much all hook, uh, knocked them on the head first go round. We have had issues with mites though. So I was going to put them down in the... Um, uh, aquaponics which i'll show you a bit of the top view of in a minute uh, but i've decided not to for now i might just sacrifice them to the compost pile for now and um yeah we'll um, get some more to pop out downstairs and a little coconut in a pouch uh, we also took out oh thanks again mark um we we'll took out some chives from this pouch here and we pop them up here along with the mint and these little um nifty garden elevated raised garden beds uh, we found at the hardware store and of course i couldn't help myself i've turned them into um, wicking beds of sorts uh, basically what i've done is i've drilled a couple of holes at the other end so fill pipe this end drilled some holes down there and, and then just zip tied on a little fill tube so if we go away for a couple of days there's more than enough water down the base there to come up and saturate the soil 
and yeah, it won't take long for them to dry out so we won't have any issues with um, anaerobic soil or anything like that. Sorry if the mic gets a bit windy. Um, here we have uh, some fuchsia or a fuchsia the Bianca saw down at um, the hardware store. So we pop that in there. You can see a butcher bird's already christened it over there. And a couple of seaside daisies. These were growing in the ginger pouches up the end there. Um, there was one in two different pouches. Um, so I gave them a massive haircut to um, help stave off transplant shock and I popped them in there for now. Uh, six little cells of sweet basil. And up the end here we have our thyme, which again I um, cut back, which doesn't hurt because you end up with dry thyme in the pantry. And in here I'm going to put some um, continental flat leaf parsley. Now the ginger, we were overwintering three little pouches. This one here, as you can see, has some shoots on it. So I'll be using some from that one there and some from this one here to go uh, start off some new pouches around the sides and also um, refresh the soil in here and grow them in there and the other pouch. And we will, are also going to replace the potato in this wicking pouch experiment, mainly because it just got smashed by the mites as well. And I think it really didn't like being up here, just not enough sun for it. So I thought we'll cut our losses with this and plant it out with some ginger. And the rosemary is still going good. This one's actually transplanted out of Mum's old aquaponic system. Still going strong. Uh, over here in this one here, you can see that this ginger has already sprouted. So we have four or five little sprouts from the ginger in that one. That one was always going to be just let go and grow over two seasons just to see what happens. Same as the black turmeric and the other pouches, I'll feed it up with some of that um, composted chicken manure and also some of the activated rock minerals we have. We'll see how they go and Bob can look after them again this season as well. Uh, what we're aiming for again is this season just a wall of um, uh, ginger growing up the end there. And we do have a couple of the ornamentals and succulents that we need to plant out. I'll not plant out, I should say find a spot for this table's moving. And down here we have the nasturtium. I was going to put that into one of these little beds down here. Um, but yeah, we might find somewhere else for it. Just show you quickly down here, uh, the tomatoes. They are growing out of that very end corner of the aquaponics and are now growing down along the ground with the weeds. It's been pretty wet here and I just haven't been able to find the time to get down there and smack the weeds down with the weed whacker. So that will happen sometime this week, but that tomato needs to come out. And yeah, the rest of the system's going really good. As you can see, the greens are super green. And we have a load of flowers on the um, RG Amarillo. And some of the cabbages, I don't know if you can make out, but we're getting small heads on the cabbages. And we're getting a couple of greens off that broccoli um, stem down there that just keeps re-sprouting. Oh, and the um, aphids are all but under control with the pure crop one on those chives down there. So there you go folks, uh, just a little bit of an explanation on what's going on over the um, coming month or so and let you know that yeah we really do appreciate um, you know all the comments that people leave down below the videos. I love getting back to you when I find the time. I'm slowly catching up yet again, which I feel like I'm always saying about the aquaponics and the general gardening questions in the comment sections. I will be at them um, pretty much all well, every day just to spend a little bit of time trying to catch up on them. Um, while we do other bits and pieces around the place. And yeah, I really do like to thank all you folks who do stick out to the end of the videos and you know, give them a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. We really do appreciate it. Um, there will be news on a puppy soon. We just need to fix that side gate as I think I've already put an annotation in um, the video that I've edited thus far. Um, yeah, just want to make sure that that side gate is uh, lockable and also the one down the other side as well. So the puppy can't escape. But yeah, I will pretty much will leave it there. Uh, I really would like to thank those folks who are supporting us on the uh, Farm Your Own Yard page and the YouTube membership platform and everyone else who comes along, as I said before. But I am going to leave it at that. I do hope you're well and happy and your gardens and aquaponics are booming. And I'll catch you later. Cheers, folks. Take it easy.